Hello, this is the Philosopher Accountant's Philoso Minute. Many of you probably hear philosophy and think it's challenging. You're right, but only because of how most philosophy teachers teach it. Any philosophy class will tell you that philosophy is the love of wisdom or knowledge, but most philosophers also fail to talk about how much it works or practical connections to the abstracted ideas of philosophy -dom. It's really not as hard as they make it out to be, but first I need to convince you about why it even matters. Ironically, the fact that you're ever asking why is proof that human existence is a philosophical experience. If you don't believe me, look at every major political debate. Pro-choice, pro-life is the battle between a woman's freedom and the definition of life. Border security is a fight over whether demarcated people groups have a right to stay demarcated. Facebook's data security issue is over the belief about privacy. Even when you're sitting at home debating about cooking or eating out is weighing your concepts of the current value of your time and energy versus your money. Fine, you're probably saying, I get it. We use philosophy, but it's just too darn hard. I'll just stick to street smarts, thank you very much, and you can just go do your philosophy thing. What I'm trying to tell you here, though, is that philosophy does not have to be hard. It's just an unwitting conspiracy that academics don't realize they're making you believe. If you've ever been in a class you didn't like, you probably had to fight falling asleep. Most of the reason why is because that teacher found a way to take an otherwise interesting subject and distill all the fun out of it. In fact, the only people who stay interested in those classes are already passionate about the subject so much that they plug those boring facts into their existing narrative about postmodern 19th century fresh impressionistic molecular biology. In short, the teacher failed the subject more than you did. I'll save you a philosophy class by summarizing how to think philosophically. In a nutshell, you can philosophize anything with three simple steps. A. Observe a situation long enough to discover truths about it. B. Extract those truths into broad concepts you can experiment with in other seemingly unrelated areas. C. As you experiment elsewhere, keep tweaking your general concept until you've created a 100% factual truth. Everything that those stuffy professors taught starts with their extracted experiences, and everyone who thinks like a philosopher will have a mental advantage wherever they go. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go out there and find something to philosophize.